I think he's trying to go knife only now. All right, welcome to episode two of the Clueless Challenge. Uh, last episode we did fairly well, we did pretty decent, and this episode we're on Freight. So I think Freight's going to be a much better map for this. I hope so anyways. Uh, there's lots of tight corners and things like that, and you basically want to be treating these Akimbo ACOG Magnums as if they are a shotgun. Or pretty well like a shotgun. So we'll see how things go. Pretty much the same lobby. I think a few guys left and uh, maybe a couple guys joined as well. I don't know. Might have been a little bit of rearranging going around. And uh, I'm just trying to think of work, where guys. I would prefer to set myself up. Oh, getting that little bit of lag. Hopefully it doesn't get much worse than that. It's kind of crazy how much I've gotten gotten used to this lag before, like, even just the m smallest skip. Oh, I felt like I should have had him. He did have a shotgun. So, he had the advantage in that one, but he did miss his shot, and I thought I should have hit. This guy's chasing. No, he's coming through this way. Oh, I can hear him all around me. That guy just went underground. Shotgun. And that skip there, it got a little bit of freeze there, and it uh, it forced me to not be able to compensate, or not compensate, but bring my aim over, basically. I was trying to pull my aim way over. Uh, that's another tip with these ACOG mag magnums. Uh, if you crouch, it also tightens your hip spread up even more, so if you have the time, like you're shooting somebody in the back or something like that, then... Uh, Definitely do that. And I think if you go prone, you get an even tighter spread. Yeah, you do get a slightly tighter spread if you go prone. So that's another thing you could keep in mind. I, I never really do it, but something to consider. Wow, somebody is really racking up kills quickly here. Already have seven for the top flip. Oh my god, another one of those cases. Uh, that wasn't lag or anything. It was just kind of... Very close, but bad timing. There's a guy right over here. I don't know how I didn't hit that guy. I definitely should have hit that guy. Just trying to sound whore. Heal up. I didn't realize there was a guy above me. He was sitting there the whole time. Can't believe he didn't kill me way sooner. That's kind of why I felt safe, is because he hadn't killed me yet. Okay, there is a guy underground right now that I can hear. I just want to run through this open area real quick. Get out of here. My uh, sprint keeps getting cancelled by the uh, by those little freezes. Oh man, assist. Well, not an assist, but didn't get the kill on that guy when I felt like I should have. Here's a guy here. Uh, he's he's moving around from side to side way too much, so I don't want to risk the shot yet. Again, I really feel like I should have had that guy. See what this guy's doing. Probably camping the stairs. Just to my right now. He just dropped down. See if he's coming for the flank on me. Once again, that freeze just happened right as he uh, as he got close to me. So that could have turned out very badly. And I don't know how to hit and hit him there. I really should have. All right, there's probably a guy. Whoop. It's just my aim being off. All right. Not not really having a good time right now. I thought this map was going to be much easier, but it is definitely not. That was a laggy kill. <laughs> oh, I can't move my aim. I could barely move my aim there because I was getting those little skips. This guy's rushing. Fired those shots. I was a little bit high to the left, but I don't know. I felt like I should have gotten a little bit lucky there and gotten a hit. At least one. And there, I felt like I should have had him. But you never know with the hip, the hip fire things. It's actually, these are way worse than a shotgun. I would much rather be using a shotgun than these. There we go. Not this time. You and your shotgun. He's the guy in first place too. I think that's in first place kill. Oh, I thought he dropped down. I didn't know he saw me there. So we're gonna... We're not gonna challenge that one. 
Ooh, he's skipping all over the place. Well, it's technically me skipping all over the place, but on my screen it shows as if he's skipping. So that's kind of annoying. Otherwise, I feel like I would have had that guy very confidently. Enemy satcom spotted. Which way is he going to come? I think he's trying to go knife only now. Ah, damn it. Kind of skipped around a little bit. Not saying that that's the only reason I didn't hit him or anything, but... That guy is pretty good with his... Well, he's pretty quick and drop shotted very nicely there, and I'm getting tubed. There we go. Managed to hear that guy, luckily. This seems like a fairly decent sort of area to be in. There's plenty of spawns around. Come on, leg. Ah, oh, damn it. I hope you guys can see those little skips to see that I'm not just uh, making this up or anything, but I definitely should have had that guy. I wonder if I hit him. I should have watched... Ah, uh, there's no time to watch a kill cam. This guy, I think, just picked up my, uh, my guns. Thinks he can use them on me. What? Why am I not hitting him? He has bests, too. What? Not a hit marker? Oh, I got that guy at least. Let's see if I can draw that guy a little bit closer to me. I made it look like I'm running, so he might chase. Because he was smart there. He backed off and tried to keep his distance. So I'm just going to try and be a little bit smarter. I wasn't the same guy, though. I think he's still back here. Oh, I'm empty. <laughs> I think if I would have had one more round there, I would have had him. Yeah, that guy's still camping pretty hard up top, I think. He's got a silencer. There's all kinds of silent stuff going on around here. Incoming. See if we can get in here into a, a way that he won't expect so much. Nice. <laughs> the one nice thing about the Magnums is they do have a very high damage, so they're great for things like that. Taking out dogs and stuff. Nope. Nope. Oh, I was trying to get out of the... Okay, there was another guy anyways. It wouldn't have mattered. I was trying to get out of the way there, but... The leg wouldn't let me. I, can't... I barely caught that guy in the corner of my eye. Wasted way too many shots on him. This is also why I use uh, Specialist with this class. You might be wondering that. Scavenger, you really need, but I also feel like there's a lot of other per perks that I need at the same time. So, that's why I use Specialist. Because I feel like if I can get three kills... By the time I get to the third kill, that's when I really need my, uh... That's when I really need my spe or scavenger, sorry. And it works out perfectly most of the time. Although I have run out of ammo a couple times, as you guys have seen. And it's been a little bit detrimental. So that didn't kill anyone. That means there's got to be a guy around here. And I think that was that guy's IED, so there's another guy somewhere. What? My second shot didn't hit? There we go. See, as I came up the stairs there, I crouched to, uh, to tighten up that spread a little bit. Make it a little bit better. Double kill? Oh, I was going for a double. I thought I could get the double. Uh, where, oh, where'd this guy die from? Oh, he snuck up on me there. I don't know where he went that time, because I knew there was a guy somewhere in that building, or very likely. Ah, that leg once again forced me, so I couldn't uh, correct my aim. I was trying to bring my aim over to the right, and it just didn't work out. Ooh, I was off there. I was definitely off on that aim. Alright, let's see. There's a guy coming kind of behind me. And, uh, once again, weren't able to do it, but still got over 20 kills, so I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. I'm really hoping this uh, this next game we're going to be able to uh, secure the win. Uh, I might try and find a, a different lobby just to uh, get some different opponents. This guy's pretty good, and uh, I think I'm going to ha have a hard time beating him, especially with the tactics that he's using. He's he's not camping, he's holding down a building very effectively. I think he did this the last game too. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll talk to you guys next time.